Ripple Threat Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the nearest nightclub, Buster Gates. Oh, And approaching the ring from Illinois, Eric Santos. Oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it. Kansas City, Missouri, FN Pumps. Oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it. Hello from Manny Michelle and welcome to the pay-per-view Night of Champions and the match that Buster Gates is involved in is a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. We are going to be taking on Roland Dieter and Eric Santos here. Triple threat match, triple threat rules and yes, this is it. The first championship match that Buster Gates gets a shot at, Intercontinental Championship match. Triple threat and... He is the big man in this match. Look at the size difference between the three here. Well, the two and Buster here. Buster is like at least... He's nearly a foot bigger than both men here. Um, so that's going to give him some sort of advantage. Um, so yes, he's going to want to prove that even though he lost to um, Panadero last week, he can regain himself in this Intercontinental Championship match and pick up the win. And become the first ever Intercontinental Champion. But can he do that? Who knows, who knows, but this match was a very good match, I really enjoyed playing this match. Look at that, that slap to the face and then he gets reversed. Um, this is a really good match, I enjoyed playing this one. It was so back and forth, unbelievable. Um, in the early goings, Buster not get, doing too great. Um, this was um, not his his preferred starting, I guess, but you know, he comes back in, he gets back in, don't worry, It's this is a pretty long match, it's like 15 minutes long, I think, um, and it was well worth 15 minutes, so Buster sees um, Santos trying to taunt there, and he does manage to do that, and then he drop kicks me in the back, oh, uh, not good, so Buster not having a good start, but you know, he's wearing his yellow attire, lucky yellow, um, on Buster there, reverses the punch, gets kicked in the face. It's, it's pretty much, you know, you can't turn your back on anyone for a second because the other person is going to be right there, ready to attack. And uh, Roland there, Ro Ro Roy Boat, takes down Eric Santos. 
So I take advantage of uh, of that, take him down, and then get a giant clothesline that takes down Santos there. And uh, I try to follow up with another move, but that doesn't work because, you know, online reversals, pro skill is here. But uh, Roland now trying to attack, gets reversed, Russian leg sweep, reversal. <clears throat> and then uh, Santos trying to follow that up with something as I go after the sledgehammer. The only weapon that actually gets involved in this match is the sledgehammer. I smack Santos right in the side of the head and he just no-sells it and takes down uh, Roland. So I, uh, I pick him up for a suplex and drop him down. All that power of Buster and then gets clotheslined in the back by Dita there. So, you know, it, it's it's no good. I can't look change my focus for a second. I need eyes on the back of my head, side of my head, stomach, midsection, legs, knees, just to be able to see everyone there. But look at that backslide. And Buster, he tries to break it up, but I think Santos kicked out anyway. Um, so I try to help him back up to his feet. That doesn't work. He punches me anyway. So he gets, oh my god, his back is like broke right now. And I just try and sneak in there. Let's go for the pin. Let's try and steal it. But of course, uh, Roland's right there to um, to deny that pin. So wh who I'd argue on it. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to get it anyway, but you know, could have been. And again, another taunt by Santos. I'd throw Roland over my shoulder, pick up Santos and drop him onto my knee. He is down. And uh, yeah, straight after him. Go for that big knockout punch. Can I hit it? Can I hit it? Yes, I can. Oh, power of the punch straight to the face. Knockout. Right hook straight to the face. He is out. He is down and out. And uh, Roland tries to take advantage there. He tries to throw me out of the ring, maybe trying to get Santos with his own move. And uh, he does go for a submission, but I'm right there. Right there next to him. There is no way he's stopping out. I kick him in the face, and then he lets go. So I'm doing well right now. I have the, uh, I've hit a finish already. I've nearly got another signature. Get rolled up there. But I also have the most health remaining. So I'm in a great space. I also have the most stamina. Everyone else has been running around the ring. Buster hasn't been. I've got most stamina, most health. I've already had a finisher. I'm in a really good state right now. Reversal there. And drop kick to Santos. He wasn't expecting that. And then I go after Punk. Get him up for a suplex maybe. Yeah. Ooh. And... Boop. Punk. I mean, Roland. <laughs> punk. Who's Punk? Uh, no. I pick up Roland for a suplex, but anyway, I get thrown into the corner there as Santos takes advantage of Roland. He gets him up and drops him down with the Brain Buster. And so I grab him and then take him out with a pile driver. Oh my god, the referee now he fell over with the impact of that one. I try and go to pin um, Roland there, but he rolls out the ring. So get ready for the um, the rollout Dita. Um, that's his new nickname, Rollout Dita, instead of Roland Dita. Because the amount of times he rolls out in this match, just just get ready for it. That's the first of many. Um, but yeah, we all roll out at some point. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Uh, I feel like rollouts might be a bit strong in multi-man matches because it's it happened so often in this match, it's unbelievable. Just get ready, there's another one. Just get ready for it though, it happens a lot. I liked it in the last game, you had three rollouts and that was it. They should have kept that system because it happens far too many times. But I, it, it was still a good match. I really enjoyed this match, even with the many rollouts. Um, I wouldn't say I didn't do any because I did. I did like two. I didn't do more than three. I know that much. Um, but yeah, Roland taking down Santos. He goes after me and I'm like, no, 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 that's not happening. So I'm going to go to suplex him onto Santos. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Onto the legs. And there we go, got him down, got him down, so I pick up Santos, and then, oh, big boot misses, so I grab him instead, knee him in the midsection, and I get thrown over the top rope, but I hang on, I've still got a lot of health left, I'm in really good shape right now, but Roland, Roland's not in a good position, oh my god, he gets knocked out Nelly, and then I get kicked in the face, I'm like, oh no, this isn't good, so this is where I do a rollout, he goes for the pin, I roll back into the ring, one, Two and a break it up. Oh my god. That could have been the end of the match right there. Oh, that was close. That was close. Um, so yeah, Roland's not looking good right now. Santos also has no health. I still have a full bar and a bit left over. And a finisher and nearly another signature. I'm in a good I'm in good shape right now. So I was just w waiting for my time. Um, trying to build up uh, 
Just trying to stay in the right position, not get out of the ring as often as possible so I can hit some finishers, maybe get a pinfall. But um, when Roland's outside the ring, bad things happen because it's like impossible to go for a pin without him just getting back in the ring. So I couldn't do much. I couldn't do much. Um, so I was waiting. I was waiting. I want him to get back in the ring, and he does. But Electro, he goes after me. What's Santos going for? No. Why are you going after me for? He does manage to hit a suplex, though, so that's something. Boom, there. And he's also down because he is so um, out of energy. And then um, Roland trying to power up his elbow. And he, ch he changed his attention to me. I don't know why. Because that uh, kind of backfires there. They try and go for like a double team move. Sandos hitting thin air. And Sandos going for his finisher again. This time I roll out the ring a little bit earlier. Which is good. Because I thought he would go straight for the pin. Which he did not. And I left it very last second last time. So I go for a signature, going for that suplex pile driver again, which I hit. I was gonna I was gonna pin uh, Roland Rat, but no, that doesn't work because he gets back to his feet. He tries to kick me, so I hit him with the fireman's carry. And then I decided to try and go for a finisher on Santos, which gets reversed. And it's just not looking good. Everyone's down, everyone's getting reversed, nothing's happening. He goes for a sneak pin. But Santos is obviously on his feet to break it up straight away. But yes, I'm still in pretty good shape. I have a finish. I still got more, the most health. I'm not dead yet. And I do manage to grab Santos. Going up for another suplex. Got him up. And down we go. Showing the strength. And now Roland just waiting right behind me. And I reverse it. Reverse him. And I don't have the energy to hit my signature. So I hit him with a sledge. Or, well, I miss. And then I realise he's got him, so he changed my attention there. But he gets me anyway, and he's got me up and down onto that sledgehammer. Oh, the power, the body slam. It's not good. And then a DDT to Santos, taking him down. We are both down. Roland has the vision to take us, take either one of us out. He changes his attention to Santos. What can he do here? He, hit, he misses the super kick. Santos now, and a big kick to the face. Also misses. It's just back and forth, back and forth. No one's really getting the upper hand here. But there. Oh, the punch is taking down Santos. And I realise this is my chance. Try my signature on Roland. That does not work. He reverses. And now he gets me up. Gets reversed into a DDT. Taking him down. And he just jumps straight back up. He gets to come back. As I hit my finisher. Oh, shake them wobbly bits. And boop. Down the neck breaker. Santos is out. Punk trying to change his attention. I thought that would throw him out of the ring. I was like, yes. But no, he just bounced off the ropes. That would be my best chance in the match to get a pin. He misses the first breakup. Breaks it up straight away anyway. I was like, oh my god. That, that would have been it. I would have won there if he just went over the top rope instead of um, bouncing off it. I was like, oh my god. So, yeah. Me and, Santo uh, me and Roland both down now. Santos on his feet waiting for Roland to get back to his feet. I'm also getting back to my feet. And Santos... He gets him up and slamming him down. Teardrop suplex connect. Roland's rolling out the ring as he does best. So I throw Santos over my shoulder. And I was expecting Santos to get uh, expecting Roland to get back in the ring. Oh yes, I forgot about the chair. The chair does come into the match. And then again, more rollouts. So I just wait in the ring as I do best. Kick him in the face as he tries to stand up. I was like, no, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. Roland's taking his time on the outside. He finally gets back inside. And I was like, okay, get him then. You've got him. You've got him. But no, he doesn't. He puts a chair in the corner instead. And Roland nearly gets kicked. But instead, Santos gets thrown over the top rope. And I was like, this is my chance. Take advantage. Get him up. And down onto the knee. So yes, Roland Rat is down. Santos um, on his feet. And I grab him for another suplex. I had a lot of suplexes in this match. I just kind of realized now I had a lot. Um... And there's a reversal. Oh, here we go. I got the sledgehammer. Boom, right in the midsection of Roland. Dida is down. I um, I stay in the ring. I go for a finisher. No, I don't. Sandus tries to go for his finisher instead. So I was like, okay, you can have it. You can have it. Hit him. And he does the Roland elbow connect. He tries to go for a second one. Don't know why. So I grab my finisher now. And I'm like, yes, this is it. This is it. Both men with a finisher. But no, he's already getting back to his feet. What is going on there? 
So I, I try and uh, take him out, but I bounce off the ropes by accident, and then it's already too late. It's already too late, so we get a one count. I might have actually been able to get the three there if I just uh, went for the pin straight away. I do not know, but we will never know because it's too late. Uh, it's too late to know now. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, Dida rolling out the ring again, and again straight back in. Fireman's carry taking down Santos, and it's getting close to the end of the match now. Only two minutes left, I believe. One or two minutes left. <clears throat> the chair still propped in the corner. I go for a, I go for my finisher. I taunt him up, and I get him with it. And I'm shaking them um, hips again, going for the neck breaker and connect. And Santos is down, and I'm just like, oh no, why did I drop to one knee? But there's the reversal. I try and take him down, get reversed again. If I took him down there, I would have hit a finish. I would have went for the pin again, and get reversed. And now Santos is finally getting back to his feet and Roland rolls out of the ring. Um, doing what he does best there. So throw Santos off the ropes and boom! Big sidewalk slam connects. Black hole slam, as it's also known as. And uh, yeah, get thrown into the corner. And the submission locked in the coachy clutch. And it's not enough. It's not enough. And again, the reversals. Roland going wild. And gets reversed again. Santos now. Has the other hand, and what's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do? They're just torn each other, and he gets reversed by Roland, and there's the suplex that connects. And I see my chance, go for the clothesline, miss, turn around, fireman's carry, taking him down, go for a finisher, and get reversed, oh my goodness, get reversed again. And then he takes me down, and I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, this match, it will never end. It will never end, it's like the never ending story. But in match, in wrestler match form instead of film. And he hits the rolling elbow. And Dita is down. He rolls to the outside. And managed to get a reversal in. Reversal suplex. Connect. And then Roland turns around. Hits me with an elbow out of nowhere. I'm not even that hurt. Look at that. Orange head, yellow, torso, yellow legs. But look at that pin bar. Impossible. And Santos jumps. He's slightly too late. So that's the end of the match. New champion, Roland Dita.